In this video, I will demonstrate how to install Motion Eye with Docker. This depends on Docker, so if you haven't installed Docker, uh, please do so. I've made another video introducing Docker. You can go to the GitHub to see the documentation. Uh, there are more details. I took some notes of the most important command. Uh, this command is for uh, installing the Motion Eye. The dash P option is for port mapping. 8081 is for streaming. Uh, if you have the port, you have the option to stream your video. And device dev video zero is my Pi camera. I want to briefly show you how you can verify that your Pi camera is actually plugged in. So you can list slash dev. Here, there are many devices the video ones are obviously related to the videos and you can grab for video video zero is Pi camera if you plug in a Pi camera uh, to the default camera slot on the Raspberry Pi it should be video zero without the camera uh, the docker container will not be able to run Master ARM HF is the tag of the Docker image. Um, it depends on my CPU architecture because I'm using um, Raspberry Pi. It's a ARM CPU. You can go to Docker Hub and search for this uh, Motion Eye image. You can see some other tags. For example, AMD64 and ARMHF. So I'm using the master ARMHF. So installation is just by running this one command. Restart equals always means that it will always restart after rebooting. Detach equals true means that it will run in the background. And the website will be running on port 8765. So let's run it. Now it's pulling Motion Eye image from Docker Hub. After installation, um, you can go to uh, the IP address and port 8765. You can see that the port mapping is 8765. The username by default is admin and password is empty. We can log in. Now, since we already have a camera plugged in, we can add camera, a local camera. You can also add other types of camera. And now I have a camera. The video now looks pretty bad. It's not smooth. Um, and we need to set some configuration. For video resolution, I will set it to be 640 times 480. And frame rate, we need to have a higher frame rate, maybe 25. Now the video should look much better. Yeah, it's pretty smooth now. And the color looks strange. It's kind of red because I'm using an infrared camera. There are some other options like video streaming and file storage. For video streaming, you can go to port 8081. And you can see the streaming. If you are not at home, you can actually use VPN to connect back to your home network and use Motion Eye. I've made another video introducing Pi VPN, which you can use to connect back to your home network. You can also enable streaming to external network, although everyone will be able to 
uh, see your streaming. In the port mapping configuration, I already have a forward rule for uh, my other Raspberry Pi. So if I open it, the IP address is 94, but the Raspberry Pi I'm using now is 99, so I will just change the IP to 99. And everything else will stay the same. I will be using port 8081 for both internal and external ports, and apply. Now let me connect to my iPhone's hotspot and try to uh, switch the streaming from external network. I just noticed that I didn't enable the port mapping. That's why uh, it didn't work. Now let's try again. And the streaming is working now. I'll make another video about other features of MotionEye.